வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் எஸ்ஐபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் கோர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் ஒர்க் ஷெடியூலிங் வியூ இன் விச் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் ரிலேட்டட் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் ஆர் மெயின்டைன்ட் ஸோ ஃபார் வி டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் இஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் டைப்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இன் எஸ்ஐபி அண்ட் ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் மாசரேட் ஆர் ரெக்வேர்ட் ஃபார் எஸ்ஐபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் basic view purchasing views and all four mrp views of material master in this session we will be discussing about work scheduling view work scheduling view controls how production execution should take place work scheduling view contains details related to different unit of measures production scheduler details production scheduling and serial number profiles production version indicator from there we can go to production version batch management how to manage the batch tolerance details when we do the production order confirmation and receiving the materials also how to maintain the in house production time details here we see the basic unit of measure which was maintained in the basic view of metal master which is the fundamental measurement of the material and then we see the production unit see there are some cases where the basic unit of measurement may be kilogram but when you do the production we may be doing in meters right when we buy some steel you may buy in weight kgs but when you use in the production or in do the production you may do it in the length right so at that time the production unit is different unit so we can use this unit of measurement production unit so what is the relation between basic unit of measure and the production unit we maintain in the additional data tab when you are plan when you are creating the metal master there is a tab called additional tab there we maintain the comparison this one we discussed during basic view details and there is another field called unit of issue unit of issue is the unit in which metal is issued from the warehouse see for example there may be the coils or the wires which is may be bought in bundles right then when they are issued into the production they will be issuing in feet or meters like that they will be issued so unit of issue is different from what is the unit what we buy right so for that which is the unit of measurement we are using we can use this unit of issue if we don't maintain this unit of issue or production unit system will assume the basic unit of measure as the basis for all these details and then we are having this ps material status which is plant specific material status this is the status of the material in the plant we saw cross plant status in basic view which is applied to all the plants in the client this plant specific material status is maintained for the specific material this is maintained in sales view purchase view mrp views and here in work schedule view also and there is a, a valid from date also can be given there and then we are having this uh, uh, various profiles and also the production schedule details so what is the production supervisor production supervisor is a person or group of personnel who are responsible for the production of a product for example you have a production line there is a person responsible that person name will be here so whenever you take any reports related to some production orders or planned orders you can see uh, you can select this as the selection parameter and see those planned orders and production orders to see the details and then we are having a serial number profile so what is the serial number profile it defines the material for which serial number is required for any metal we may use the serial numbers at the time you will be using this uh, profile details so when you are selecting a product with a serial number or during production if you want to issue them if you want to have some uh, warning message or error message we can fix all these details in the serial number profile and then production scheduling profile production scheduling profile is to define the task of the production order that how the system will execute some activities automatically or not for example the system can automatically release the production order as soon as we create the production order or the system can automatically send the shop floor papers for printing when you release the order means when you create you can ask the system to release it automatically or when you are releasing it you can ask the system to print it automatically this will save a lot of time to perform individual functions also we can combine many activities using this production scheduling profile and then we are having the production version details the production version details are available in mrp4 view also it is maintained in production version in the product scheduling view also by clicking the production version the tab 
we can go into the production version of the material. Production version is created through transaction C223. And there is another field called critical part. Critical part is the field where we specify the metal is critical or very important. In inventory sampling, critical parts are included in complete count data. Otherwise, it is only information field only. And then we are having the inspection stock. This field specifies whether the metal is subject to quality inspection and whether the goods received is posted to inspection stock. This indicator is copied into the production order while doing the production order confirmation to do the goods receipt. And then important field is the batch management. Here we see two fields. One is the batch management, other is the batch management plant. Here the batch management means it is in the MARA table which is applicable to the client level. Batch management plant is in the MARC table. So this is applicable to the plant level. When you want to execute any metal for the batch management, we will be using this field, you know, the batch management triggering. And then here, <coughs> there is a, this batch management can be maintained in different views of metal master. For example, sales and distribution, general plan data, purchasing view, and the here in work scheduling view. All the views have the same uh, tick marks, right, the same things. If you change anywhere <coughs> this field value, this will be updated in other fields, other views also. So please take care that it can be done in all these, one of these four uh, views, sales and distribution, general plan data, purchasing, or scheduling. And then we are having the field called batch entry. What is this batch entry? The batch entry indicator refers to the components of the order. It is that the components which are used in production of this particular material, this field is applicable for to those components. It is not for the particular product what we are using in this view, but it is for the components used to produce this product, this batch entry is used. Here it will determine whether the batch can be determined when the goods issue is posted, at that time the batch number has to be triggered, or the batches must be entered in the order before we release the production order, or the batch must be entered in the order before the goods issue posted, the time we can do it, or the batches are determined automatically when the order is released. So these options can be taken from this batch entry field. And then there is a, a small field called the batch, uh, you know, the uh, receipt required, right? It is mentioned there. Batch recommendation is required. This field is that uh, taken into account for the batches which are in the process orders. It is not in the discrete manufacturing order. So here we have to focus this batch management at client level, at the plant level, and at the batch entry level. Batch entry is for the components. Again, please note that the batch entry is not for the product what we are maintaining here. It is for the components used to produce the products. And then we are having the tolerance details. Under delivery, under delivery tolerance means it is the percentage rate that specifies the percentage below which the quantity posted for goods is it may drop below the production order quantity. Means at that much percentage only it can be allowed. Over delivery means it's a percentage by which quantity posted the goods may exceed. No? Beyond that it can be exceed. And then unlimited means indicator specific whether the quantity actually delivered may be infinitely exceed the required production order quantity. This means to restrict, you know, below that some quantity we should not receive, above some quantity we should not be able to do it, or there is no limit. So we can have this. So here normal suggestion is to have like a fix some 5 or 10 percent for the over delivery. That is a normal general suggestion. And also it is suggested not to use this unlimited. There should be some limit we have to use it here. And uh, putting the under delivery, you know, it depends on the, the, the production process and also what product we are producing. The next is the in-nose production details. Here we are having two kind of production details. On the right side, you can see lot size independent, in-nose production time. This in-nose production time is also maintained in MRP2 view, right? It is independent of the lot size. The left side of this, we see setup time, interoperation time, processing time. These are batch based. What is the batch base? The base quantity. Here we just entered this batch base quantity like 100, right? So if you enter some setup time of two hours, then uh, processing time of uh, of a minute per batch and then per unit. Interoperation time between operations is two minutes. As we mentioned, that is applicable for the, the base quantity we are mentioned. For example, 100 quantities, this is applicable. So depending on the quantity variation, system will take the time when you are planning the planned orders, release and also the production order, the start dates. So here, the in-nose production time maintained in uh, MRP2 and also which is copied here as a lot size independent, whether we release the order for 10 numbers or 1000 numbers, same time will be taken. But if you use this base quantity, according to the size which is varying, 
we can give some close to the real uh, dates for scheduling purpose. So routine time is something different, which is the exact operating time. But here is the overall production time in days to mention it can be useful. So whenever we are having these uh, batch variations, right, for 10, that may be some different time, for 100, maybe different times, for 1000, different times, it's better to use the base quantity under 11 time. Also, please note that these times, the in-house production time under these uh, uh, large size dependent times are used to determine the replenishment lead time also, right. This is also very important. This one we discuss in the MRP3 view, where the total time mentioned here as a large size dependent or the large size independent, they are used to uh, arrive at the replenishment lead time, which will be used in the available to promise and other areas also. So in this session, we discuss attributes related to work scheduling view, like uh, different unit of measures, what is production scheduler, what is production scheduling profile, serial number profile, production version, batch management, and uh, different tolerance details, and how to maintain the operating time details. In the next session, we will discuss forecasting view. Please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents, or visit our website www.bgrowin.com. Thank you all. Wishing you all happy 2021. Wishing you all the best. See you in the next session.